Hey, what's good guys? It's your boy Fontek over here. First of all, thanks for visiting my channel. In case you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more content. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you like the video at the end. And in this video, guys, I'm going to be comparing an iPhone 6S on iOS 10.3.2 to an iPhone 6S on iOS 12.3 official. So as always, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, gonna wrap both devices here. iOS 12.3 official, iOS 10.3.3. So both were pretty much identical here, good stuff. And both were smooth. Right guys, so both phones have nothing running in the background. So let's start a test. With settings. Pretty much the same. Going for a weather app. Faster than iOS 10. Going for the phone dialer. iOS 12, going for Safari. I'd say that's a draw. Clock. About the same, going for App Store, Faster Noise 10, going for the iTunes Store, Faster Noise 10, leaving, going right, going for Enter the Benchmark, identical here, and going for YouTube. Both are doing really good. Geekbench 4. The same exactly going for Google Earth. Leaving, going for Angry Birds Go. That was sliding fast when I was 10. Going for Minion Rush. That was definitely faster than iOS 10 as well. That was 12 is taking some time. Wow. That was way slower. Going for Google Chrome. Okay, that was faster than iOS 12. Good stuff there. Going for Marvel Strike Force. That seems to be faster than ours 10.3.2. Yep, it is. It always has to crash. So I want to find an app here before going for multitasking. Snapchat. I just want it faster and now I'm going for multitasking. So it's Snapchat. Strike Force. Google Chrome. Minion Rush. Angry Birds Go. Both are solid. Google Earth, Geekbench 4, YouTube, both are doing good. And to the benchmark, iTunes, App Store, Clock, Safari, Phone Dialer, both are doing really good. Weather and settings. So both were doing really good in RAM management. Next up, guys, a Geekbench 4 test. All right, guys, here you have the scores. So on single core, they're both identical. I mean, there's no difference. Multi-core, though, is better than 12.3 for some reason. I mean, it's always this way, but at the end, guys, battery difference is big. This one started the test at 100%, but immediately dropped to 98, so it lost the 100% mark. And because of that, it dropped really fast. So this phone, on the other hand, remained 100% anyway, so it was better, definitely. I right, guess so this phone dropped by 1%, so now it's at 99%, so it lost 1%, this lost like 11 in the test. All right, guys, there we have it. That was a comparison. I would say, guys, that the battery life is definitely worse than iOS 12.3, though the, I, I mean, I charged both phones overnight, so they were both 100%, but the one, I don't know why the iPhone 6S and iOS 12.3 drained battery while it was off, the other one was still 100%. I mean, they were both 100%, but the other one dropped by 2% immediately, iOS 12.3. So it lo ended up losing way more battery than iOS 10.3.2 did. Um, but overall, iOS 10 has a better battery. RAM management was the same. CPU was almost the same. So hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe for more content. Peace out.